Er, jeg er her rundt din lege. Amen. I like the song. Jeg likte sangen. It sounded kind of like the message from last night, didn't it? From min side. I like I like that Dr. Jesus. Jeg likte Dr. Jesus. What happens if you begin to see him as your doctor? Hva skjer hvis du begynner å se ham som din lege? I don't think you would be sick. Jeg tror ikke du vil være syk. Why don't you run to Dr. Jesus first? Hvorfor kan du ikke bare løpe til Dr. Jesus først? We we run to Dr. Jesus last. Vi løper jo til Dr. Jesus helt til slutt. Many times I meet people. Mange ganger så møter jeg mennesker. They said we've we've done everything. Så sier de har prøvd alt. And the doctor says there's nothing left. Og doktor sier det er ikke noe mer å gjøre. So now we come to Jesus. Så nå kommer vi til Jesus. I think. I think. We should run to him first. Vi skulle gå til ham først. Go to him first. Gå til ham først. And ask him what to do. Og spør han hva jeg skal gjøre. If you need wisdom. Du trenger visdom. He's a good healer. Han er en god helbreder. During the worship, I heard a word from the Lord. Under lovsangen så hørte jeg et ord fra Herren. He said, I'm opening doors. Han sier, jeg åpner dører. I said, that's good, Jesus. Jeg sa, det er godt, Jesus. So he's going to heal you from the very beginning. Så han kommer til å helbrede deg helt fra begynnelsen. Because he, you know, when Jesus puts in the key. Når Jesus tar inn nøkkelen. And he opens the door. Og han åpner døren. He says, no one can close it now. Så sier han, ingen kan lukke den nå. So when you come out, you stay out. Så når du kommer ut, så blir du ute. You don't go back in. Du går ikke tilbake inn. You come out and you're free. Du kommer ut og du er fri. Amen. Amen. Do you need to come out? Trenger du å komme ut? Are you in bondage? Er du bunnet? Are you sick? Er du syk? Do you need freedom? Trenger du frihet? Do you need an open door? Trenger du åpen dør? Have you been saying, Jesus, open the door? Da vil vi si, Jesus, åpne døren. It could be many things. Det kan være mange ting. But if it hits you, Men hvis det treffer deg. And you say, yeah, that's me. Og du sier, ja, det er meg. Just stand right where you are. Så reist opp der hvor du er. Just stand right where you are. Reist opp der hvor du er. Yes. Halleluja. Yes. Jesus is healing all kinds of addictions tonight. Jesus, han helbreder all avhengighet. No, just continue to stand. Just stand. And pe more people will stand. More people, flere mennesker må stå. All kinds of addictions. Alle mulige avhengigheter. The spirit of suicide. Selvmords ånd. Yes. Ja. Yeah. He knows exactly you're here. He knows you're here. Han vet akkurat at du er her. And he says, I'm putting in the key. Og han sier, jeg setter inn. And I'm opening the door. Jeg åpner døren. And you get to come out. Og du må komme ut. You don't have to wait till the end of the meeting. Du trenger ikke å vente til slutten av møtet. Because I run to open the door for you. Fordi jeg har åpnet døren for deg. To heal you. For å helbrede deg. Amen. Amen. Anyone else before I pray? Det er noen andre som ønsker å bli fri. Everyone else is sitting is free and healed and whole. Ja, nå kommer det flere. Dere er fri. Now you're getting it. You know, sometimes pain is a, is a prison, you know. But I said, Jesus, what do you want to do tonight? And he says, I want to take care of this. You're being oppressed by a demon spirit. Du er undertrykt av en demonisk ånd. You want to be free? Ønsker du å være fri? It's like you're wearing a heavy backpack. Det er akkurat som du har en tung ryggsekk. And you want it off of you. Og du ønsker å ha den av deg. You want to be free of it. Du ønsker å bli fri av den. But it's like it just hangs on you. Men det bare henger på deg. That's called a demon spirit. Det kalles en demonisk ånd. And it obeys Jesus. Just lift your hands. Because it's going to leave you right now in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that you put in the key and you said you're opening doors tonight. And in the name of Jesus, I 
Open the door. So open the door. And I say, come on out. Och jag säger, kom ut. In the name of Jesus. Yes, so now. I take authority. Jag tar auktoritet. Over every demon spirit. Over demonisk ande. And I command it to come out of you and leave you in Jesus' name. Och jag kommanderar det att komma ut av dig och förlåta dig i Jesu namn. I command the spirit of addiction to come out in Jesus' name. Jag kommanderar att avhängets ande kommer ut i Jesu namn. The spirit of suicide to come out in Jesus' name. I command the spirit of pain and in Infirmity to come ja, out en in smärta. Jesus name. Och lidelse, yes or no. In Jesus name. Yes or no. You're free. Du är fri. You're free. Du är fri. Come on out. Come on out. Kom the ut. door behind you is closed. Dörren bak där är lucket. And you are free in Jesus name. Yes or no. He sets you free. Han sätter dig fri. Only Jesus. Bara Jesus. Only Dr. Jesus. Bara Dr. Jesus. Can heal you. Kan helbreda dig. Can deliver you. Och utfri dig. Can set you free. Kan sätta dig fri. That demon spirit. Den demoniska ånden. Of sickness. Av sykdom. Of pain. Och smärta. Of depression. Och undertryckelse. Of oppression. Och allt of suicide, of, of, of addiction, of it runs now Den in Jesus' name. Yes, so now. You are free du of it in Jesus' yes, name. So now. In Jesus' name. Yes, so now. Amen. Amen. Do you receive it? Har du Say, det? Tack, Jesus. Tack, Jesus. You're my Dr. Jesus. Du är min doktor Jesus. You are my doctor Jesus. Du är min doktor Jesus. There's somebody who has a problem in your tailbone area. Det är någon som har vanskeligheter i halben region. Tailbone. Halbenet. And God is healing you. Och Gud helbreder dig. God is healing you. Gud helbreder dig. In Jesus name. Yes or no. In Jesus name. Yes or no. This is the power of the holy spirit this is the delivering power of the holy spirit you are free you're free of that sickness in your body you're free of the oppression right now you are free in jesus name amen amen thank you lord talk jesus thank you jesus talk jesus amen amen now you can sit and enjoy the meeting. Nu kan du sitta ner och bara njuta möte. When the worship began. När lovsången började. Pastor, when the first worship song began. I den första tillbedelsesången pastor. I looked at Astri. Så så jag på Astri. I said, you feel that power. Och jag sa, följde du den kraften? She said, yes. Hon sa ja. I said, that's the delivering power of the Holy Spirit. Åh, det är utfrielsesonen av den heliga ande. Every demon spirit. Le- will leave this place tonight. That is come against your life, your family. That's come against your body. Amen. Amen. You go, we walk out free. Du går ut fri. Amen. Amen. Isn't he lovely? Är det inte nödligt? Isn't he lovely? Är det han vidundlig? I still feel that healing power. Jag följer fortsatt den helbredande kraften. Can you just sit there for a moment? Kan du bara sitta där för ett ögonblick? Just close your eyes for a moment. We can't be afraid to be quiet in the presence of God. Vi kan inte bli rädda för att vara stilla i Guds närvaro. Just sit there for a moment. Bara sitt där för ett ögonblick. Because that power of the Spirit is here. Och kraften av ånden är här. And He is still delivering. Och han fortsätter att utfri dig. Because you don't have to live with it. Du behöver inte leva med det här. You get to be free of it tonight. Du kan bli fri av det ikväll. For it's not by might. För det är inte med kraft. And it's not by power. Inte med kraft och makt. But it's by the Holy Spirit. Det är den helige ande. This is His work right now. Det är hans arbete akkurat nu. You feel His presence. Du följer hans närvaro. And He's healing you. He's delivering you. Han He's just loving you. Han bara älskar dig. Thank you, Lord. Tack, Herre. Amen. Somebody's got a skin problem. Någon som har ett hudproblem. God is healing you. Gud helbreder dig. You'll not have a skin problem anymore. Du har inte något hudproblem längre nu. Because he heals you. För han helbreder dig. In Jesus' name. I Jesu namn. Amen. It's wonderful. Det är vidundligt. Yeah. 
Normally we preach and wait for this anointing. Normally we preach ja. and wait for the anointing. <laughs> Normal så preker vi för den här salvelsen. But he's here. Men den är här. But he's here. Den är här. Thank you, Lord. Tack herre. And I have to be quiet and just let him do his work. Jag må bara vara rolig och låta han göra sitt arbete. Because I hear his voice now. Jag hör hans röst nu. And he says I do not share my glory. Och han säger att jag delar inte min ära. So just sit there for a moment. Så bara sitt där ett ögonblick. And let him love you and heal you. Och låt han älska dig och helbreda dig. Thank you Lord. Tack Herre. And I, I, I hear the Lord say something. And the Lord says, "You will not be alone. You will not. You will not leave this earth alone. Du vil ikke forlate denne jorden alene. Because I am with you. Fordi jeg er med dig. I am with you. Jeg er med dig. You are never alone. Du er aldrig alene. Tonight. I kveld. He heals that place of loneliness in your heart. Så helbreder han det stedet av ensamhet i hjertet ditt. And he fills it with himself. Og han fyller det med seg selv. Because he says, I am with you. Fordi han sier, jeg er med deg. I feel that loneliness. Jeg skal fylle den ensamheten. That emptiness. Den tomheten. With myself. Med meg selv. Because I'm enough. Fordi jeg elsker. I'm enough for you. Jeg elsker deg.
such a deep healing he's doing. Som en dyp helbredelse han gör. You, you feel your heart is very warm. Du kan känna att hjärtat ditt är väldigt varmt. We have just English we don't know how to explain it. Vi har bara engelska vi vet inte hur vi ska förklara det. Engelsk och norsk. But I just have one word for you. Men jag har ett ord till dig. Surrender. Och vi dig. Surrender right now. Och vi dig akkurat nu. Just surrender. Bara och vi dig. Let him do it. Låt han göra det. Just give it to him. Bara ge det till han. Say Dr. Jesus. Si Dr. Jesus. My Messiah. Mitt inre önska. You hear? Här och höra. I surrender to you. Jag och vi med dig. I just surrender. Jag bara och vi med. Totally. Totalt. Both hands. Bägge händer. Touch me. Berör mig. Heal me. Helbred mig. Encounter me. Möt mig. What do you want from Jesus? Vad önskar du från Jesus? He's here right now. Han är akkurat nu. He's here right now. Han är akkurat här nu. I thought it would come at the end. <laughs> Jag trodde han ville komma på slutet. No. No. You say I want a fresh fire of the spirit. Du säger att vill ha en frisk ild av den helige ande. Well, take it. Ta det. Here's the giver. Han är givaren. He's here's his presence. Det är hans närvaro. He's giving. Han ger. Just receive it. Bara ta emot det. Just tell him Jesus. Bara fortell han Jesus. I want fresh fire. Jag vill ha frisk ild. I want fresh revelation. Jag vill ha frisk uppenbarelse. I want more communion. Jag vill ha mer samfunn. You're here to do it. Du är här för att göra det. To give me that. För att ge mig det. Surrender. Och vi är där. Take it. Ta det. We call this a visitation of the Holy Spirit. Vi kallar det ett besök av den helige ande. Don't let it pass you by. Inte låt det gå förbi dig. Cuz I don't decide when it comes. För jag bestämmer inte när det kommer. Just two more minutes. Bara två minuter mer. Surrender. Och vi är där. Let it go. Låt det gå. Receive. Time out. Fresh communion. Frisk fellowship with Jesus. Frisk ill. Fresh revelation. Frisk uppenbarelse. Healing. Helbredelse. Freedom. Frihet. Love. Kärlek. Peace. Fred. Joy. Glädje. Take it. Ta det. I take it. What you don't take, I take. Jag tar det. Vi säger du tar det så tar jag det. I take it, Jesus. Jag tar det, Jesus. I take it. Jag tar det. Take it, Astrid. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard, Astrid. Take it. Thank you, Lord. Fresh Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Fresh communion on me. Wow. I receive it. I receive it, Lord. Yes. I just hear someone saying, "I've been longing for the presence of God." Hör en någon säga, "Jag har längtat efter Guds närvaro." He's here. Han är här. Take it, say Jesus. Ta det bara till Jesus. I'm receiving fresh encounters with Your presence right now. Jag tar emot ett. When I go home, I have fresh encounters with Your presence, Jesus. Med ditt närvaro, Jesus, när jag går hem. I receive that gift from You. Jag tar emot en gåva från dig. When I open the Bible, I will see You, Jesus. När jag öppnar Bibeln så vill jag se dig, Jesus. I will have fresh revelation. I receive fresh revelation of You, Jesus. Jag tar emot frisk uppenbarelse av dig, Jesus. I receive it. I receive fresh fire. Oh, I'll lay hands on the sick and they will 
recover, yes, Jesus. I receive that Jesus. fresh fire, Jesus. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Telling me, Jesus. Me, Jesus. Me, Jesus. Me, Jesus. And the Lord says, you're not too old. He said, I'll use you. I didn't ask for the age of a vessel. I asked it for a yielded vessel. I look for a yielded vessel. I'll use you. Even in your old age. And you say I'm too old now. Men du säger jag är för gammal nu. But the Lord says no you're not. Men Herren säger du är inte det. I see your heart. Jag ser ditt hjärta. I see your willingness. Jag ser din villighet. And I'll fill that vessel with fresh fire. Och jag fyller det kar med frisk ild. Amen. 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 Amen Tom. Amen Tom. <laughs> In fact, if you're if you're over 70, stand right now. You still over 70, so bad at Yes, Lord. Because you know it's said that you guys should pass the baton to us. You know, hmm? it's the saying that the older generation should pass the baton ja, to the younger generation. Ja, de, de eldre skal gi plass for de yngre generasjonen. Like you should pass it to me. I'm the younger generation, right? Og du skal gi det til meg, for jeg er den yngre generasjonen, ikke sant? But I, I pass it back to you and say, let's run together. Men jeg gir det tilbake til deg, og la oss løpe sammen. I don't want you to just sit down. Jeg vil ikke at du skal bare sitte der. I want you to keep running. Jeg vil at du skal fortsette å løpe. Let's take the baton together. Let's ta det sammen. Do you want it? Vil du ha det? Lift your hands to Jesus. Løft din hånd til Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Here I am. Here I am. Fill me now. Fill me now. With fresh fire of your spirit. I receive the baton. I'm not letting go. Use me, Jesus. Send me, Jesus. Fill me, Jesus. I'm not too old. I'm a yielded vessel. I'm a willing vessel. And that's all you're looking for. So I say, here am I. Send me, Lord. Send my herre. Use me, Lord. Bruk my herre. Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus. And I pray in the name of Jesus. That you would fill them now. With a fresh touch. Fan the flame. Of the Holy Ghost. Of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Yes, in Lord. Jesus' name. Yes, Begin to speak. Open your mouth. Begin to speak. He'll fill that vessel again. He'll fill it again. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. The Spirit will give you the words. And he's going to fill that vessel. Fresh. Frisk. Fresh. Frisk. Fresh. Frisk. It's not time to sit down. It's time to run. It's time to run. He's coming. He's coming. It's not time to sit down. It's time to run into the darkness. You have a big light on the inside of you. And the darkness knows it. And so the darkness says, just pass the baton. And Jesus says, no, come to me. I'll fan the flame. And I'll send you again. And I'll keep sending you again. As long as you want to run, I'll keep sending. Amen. Do you receive it? Say, thank you, Lord. Your life will never be the same Ditt from tonight. Be the same after You're going to wake up in the middle of the night. Du vil våkne opp på natten. You'll be like, wow, the Holy Ghost is visiting me. Du må tenke, wow, den helgen besøker meg. Wake up. Våkne opp. 
Talk with the Lord. Snack med Herren. Because he's sending you. För han sender dig. He is sending you. Han sender dig. Many of you will go to hospitals. I hear this from Mange the Lord. Många av er vill gå till sjukhus. Jag hör Herren. You will run into the hospitals. Du vill löpa till hospitalen. And God is going to use you. Gud ska bruka dig på sjukhus. God is going to use you. Gud ska bruka dig. You're going to pray for the sick. Du ska be för de sjuka. And God is going to raise them up. Och Gud ska rejsa dem. And they're going to come out of the hospital. Och de kommer ut av sjukhuset. And they're going to live. Och de ska leva. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Tack, Jesus. In fact, right over here, is there somebody that's got somebody in the hospital right now? Och akkurat nu här så är det någon som känner någon på sjukhuset. Somebody in the hospital? Är det någon som är på sjukhuset för tiden? Som jobbar där? No, ingen. It's okay. I was just looking here when the word came. Jag bara så här när ordet kom. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. Gud är god. Sometimes I don't know what to do. Någon gång så vet jag vad jag ska göra det. I just love the presence. Jag bara älskar hans närvaro. Amen. You thought you were retiring. Du tänkte att du skulle gå av med pension. No, you you're just going to work full time for Jesus. Nej, då du ska arbeta full tid för Jesus. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you can be seated. Nu kan du sätta dig. Many of you who are above 70. Många av er som är över 70 eller runt 70. You have not seen all that God has spoken to you come to pass. Du har inte sett allt det Herren har sagt till dig ske ändå. And you have thought, well, maybe the next generation will see it fulfilled. Och du har tänkt kanske det är nästa generation som ska se det uppfyllt. Who told you that? Vem har sagt dig det? Who said that to you? Vem har sagt det till dig? Who? Vem? You will see it. Du ska se det. Because my Bible says that God watches over His word. For the min Gud säger att han bokar över sitt ord. To perform it. For att fullgöra det. It doesn't return to him empty. Det vänder inte tillbaka till han tomt. That means it will be fulfilled. Det betyder att det ska fullgöras. If you don't give up. Hvis du ikke gir opp, if you don't sit down du ned, and say maybe it's for somebody else. Si for no, no, it was for you. Nej, det var för dig. It's for you. Det är för dig. Amen. Amen. I like it. Jag liker det. Very strong. Det är väldigt starkt. But I like it. Men jag liker det. So let's run together. Så låt oss löpa samman. I'll take one side of the baton, you take the other. Jag tar den ena sidan av stafettpinnen och du den andra. Amen. Amen. You see, I don't know if my generation will tell you this. Jag vet inte om min generation vill fortälla dig det. But we need you. Men vi tränger dig. My generation probably acts like we don't need you. Min generation uppför sig som att vi tränger det. But I'll tell you, we do. Men jag fortäller dig, vi gör det. So just come on. Så bara kom. Amen. Amen. Amen, Holy Ghost. Amen, Helion. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> or I'll fall over. <laughs> God is good. Amen. Amen. Get ready, Astri. Yeah, Astri. Get ready. Are you ready? You will run. You will run. You will run. With this gospel. Med evangeliet. 
Ja. Jag ska inte sitta ner. Jag ska inte sitta ner. Inte sitta. Inte sitta ner. Inte sitta ner. Inte sitta ner. This is a real strong call from the Holy Spirit. Ett väldigt starkt kall från Helgen. In fact, just stand. Over 70, don't come stand with me. Stå Just stand again. <laughs> Lift your hands to Jesus. Lift your hands to Jesus. <laughs> and I, Oye, Amy Kemp, Amy Kemp, beg you, beg I, don't sit down. Ikke sit ned. Don't sit down. Ikke sit ned. Ikke sit down. Run. Løp. Run. Løp. With the gospel. Med evangeliet. Run. Løp. With what you believe about Christ. Med det du tror om Jesus Kristus. You have a history with Christ. Du har en historie med Kristus. You've seen his faithfulness. Du har sett hans trofasthet. You've been through the storms. Du har vært gjennom stormene. Don't sit down. Down. Ikke sette deg ned. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Takk, Herre. Thank you, Jesus. Takk, Jesus. And I hear the Lord say, I will birth many new ministries through you. Og jeg hører Herren si, jeg skal føde mange nye tjenester for deg. And you said, I've never had a ministry. Og du sier, jeg har jo aldri hatt en tjeneste. But the Lord says tonight, I'll give you one. Men Herren sier i kveld, skal jeg gi deg en? Vil du ha den? Just lift your hands. The Lord sees your hands. Herren ser din hånd. Because the Lord says, I'm giving new ministries. Men Herren sier, jeg gir deg en ny tjeneste. And there's many of you that never had one. Til deg som ikke har hatt noen. But the Lord says tonight, I give you one. Men Herren sier i kveld, så gi deg en. Father, we thank you. Far, vi takker deg. That the gifts of heaven are given tonight. You give new ministries, new administrations to your people. Because you said they're not too old. Thank you, Lord, that they will run in it. And they will see many og de vil se mange komme til Kristus. Even before Christmas. Til og med før jul. Before Christmas. Før jul. You will see them come to Christ. Så vil de se de komme til Kristus. And the Lord says, and I'll do it in your own household. Og Herren sier, jeg skal gjøre det i ditt eget hus. I'll do it in your own household. Jeg skal gjøre det i ditt eget hus. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. Far, vi takker deg. For saving families. For å frelse familier. And for sending your people for å sende ditt folk into the darkness ut i mørket to snatch them out of the fire til å bare dra de ut av ilden in Jesus' name. I Jesu navn. Amen. 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 Halleluja. Halleluja. Ja. Ja. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
you can be seated if you can. Du kan du sitta visst du kan. If you can. Visst du kan. God has uh, given me a gift. Gud har gett mig en gåva. And it's the gift to see you finish well. Och det är en gåva för att se att du avslutar bra. Only God knew I had that in my heart. Bara Gud visste att jag hade det i mitt hjärta. And then I received a prophetic word. Och så fick jag ett profetiskt ord. <laughs> that I will encourage the older generation. Att jag ska uppmuntra den äldre generationen to finish well för på avsluta bra. And I will run beside them. Och jag ska löpa vid sidan av dem. And see everything God said fulfilled. Och jag ska se allt det Gud har sagt fullent. Amen. Amen. The younger generation doesn't come in to take over. Den unga generationen har inte kommit för att ta över. We come to run together. Vi har kommit för att löpa samman. Amen. Amen. If you let us we want to run with you. Visst du lär oss så löper vi med dig. Amen. Amen. The Lord loves you. Har den älskar dig. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe later. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus is good. Jesus är god. Well, we'll see where we go. Vi får se hur vi ändrar upp här. I don't know what time it is now. Jag vet inte hur klockan är en gång. That's okay. That's okay. In Matthew chapter 9 verse 35. In Matthew 9. 9. Yes. Verse 35. 35 ska vi bara se. Uh, 34. Yes. It says Jesus was going throughout all the cities and the villages. Och Jesus dro omkring i alla byar och landsbygder. Teaching in their churches. Han lärde där i synagoger. And proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom. Och förkynnte evangeliet om riket. And healing every kind. Och han helbredde alla slags sjukdom. And every kind of disease. Alla slags plågor. And seeing the people he felt compassion for them. Då han såg folk fick han indelig mödring med dem. Because they were like sheep. För de var som får. The spirit they were like the spirited sheep. De var hade som uh, en ond som man får without a shepherd. Utan hyrde. They were sheep and they didn't have a shepherd. De var sauer men de hade ingen hyrde. They were sick. De var sjuka. And he says they don't have a shepherd. Man sa jag har ingen hyrde. I want to be their shepherd. Jag vill vara deras hyrde. Because hyrde. a shepherd takes care of the sheep. För hyrden tar vare på lammarna, fårarna. Shepherds are called to take care of sheep. Hyrden är kallt att ta hand om sävarna. And in Ezekiel 34. Och Ezekiel 34. I'll let you get there. Ezekiel 34. Ah, Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Jeremias. Ezekiel 34. Ja. Mm. Jesus. Actually, it was the Lord. I let her get there first. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. Yep. It says the word of the Lord came to me, saying, "What verse?" In verse one. Verse one. Herren sur kom till mig och det lödde så. Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Menneske sen profeter imot Israels hyrder. They were not being good shepherds. De var inte goda hyrder. They forgot about the sheep. De var inte samma sävarna. And the sheep are in a really bad situation now. Och sävarna var i en virkelig dålig situation. And let's just hear what the Lord says to the shepherds. Och bara hör vad Herren säger till hyrdarna. Because when sheep have a shepherd, they're taken care of. För när en säv har en hyrde så blir han tagit hand om. Jesus says, "I am the good shepherd." Jesus säger, "Jag är den gode hyrden." And I lay down my life for my sheep. Och jag lägger mitt ned ned för fårarna. But here he's talking about natural, physical shepherds. Men här snakkar om naturliga fysiska hyrder. And he's not very happy. Och han är inte väldigt glad. And so the word of the Lord comes. Och så kommer här en sår. And he says, "Woe to the shepherds of Israel." Och så så säger här den ve Israel hyrder. Because you have been feeding yourself. Du rökte dig själv. Should not the shepherds feed the flock? Är det inte jorden hyrden skulle rökta? Verse three. 
Was träg. You eat the fat and the clothing yourself with the wool. Dere spiser fettet og dere kler dere selv med ulen. And you shot, you uh, slaughter the fat sheep without feeding the flock. Eh, men da til jeg uttale det, vet du. Verse 3. Verse 3. Det fete slakter dere, jorden røkte dere ikke. Those who are sick, you have not strengthened. Den svake har dere ikke styrket. The disease you have not healed. Den syke har dere ikke leget. The broken you have not bound up. Det som er søndebrudt har dere ikke forbundet. The scattered you have not brought back. De bortrevne har dere ikke ført tilbake. You have not sought for the lost. Det fortapte har dere ikke oppsøkt. But with force you have oh. dominated over them. Men med vold og med håret har dere hersket over dem. Strong word. Sterke ord. God's not happy. Gud er ikke glad. In verse 5. Og vers 5. It says they were scattered for slik, lack of a shepherd. Og slik ble de spredt fordi de ikke hadde noen hyrde. And they became food for the enemy. De ble til rov for all markens ville dyr. Og, Sheep get scattered not because they're bad. Og fårene ble ikke skrent på grunn av det onde. And it's not because of sin. Det er ikke på grunn av synd. It's because the lack of a shepherd. Det er på grunn av mangel av en hyrde. A shepherd that feeds the sheep. Mangel av en hyrde som føder fårene. Instead of beat the sheep. I stedet for å slå fårene. And dominate over the sheep. Og dominere over dem. But the shepherds who feed. Men en hyrde som føder. Who heal. Som helbreder. It's God who heals. Det er Gud som helbreder. But God works through the shepherd to heal. Men Gud arbeider gjennom hyrdene for å helbrede. And Israel was not doing a good job. Og israelene gjorde ikke noe god jobb. And so the sheep were all scattered. Og så var alle sauene avspredt. And the Bible says they were scattered because they didn't have a shepherd. Og Bibelen sa de var avspredt fordi de ikke hadde noen hyrde. Look in verse 11. Se på vers 11. For thus says the Lord God. For so sier Herren Herren. Behold, I myself will search for my sheep. Se, jeg kommer selv og vil spørre etter min jord og se etter dem. And I'll seek them out. Og jeg vil se etter dem. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. He Kom is igjen. the good shepherd. Han er den gode hyrde. This is now the prophecy of Christ. Dette er profetien om Jesus. Because Israel... The sheep are everywhere. Fordi at Israels folk var overalt. They're dominating over them. Det var noen som dominerte over dem. They created many more laws. De lagde mange moraler. And they put a heavy yoke around the people. Og de tok et tungt åk på menneskenes skulder. And they're sick. Og de var syke. They're weak. De var svake. And many sheep have run away. Og mange får hadde løpt av gårde. But the Lord says it's not because of the sheep. Men Herren sa at det var ikke på grunn av sauene sine. It's because of the shepherds. Det var fordi at hyrdene manglet. So now I'm coming, Jesus said. Så nå kommer jeg, sier Jesus. Here I come. Nå kommer jeg. And I'm going to search for them. Og jeg skal lete etter dem. I'm going to seek them out. Jeg skal søke dem. And I'll care for my sheep. Og jeg bryr meg om sauene. I'll deliver my sheep. Jeg skal utfri sauene mine. From all the places they were scattered. Fra alle de steder de var dratt til. I like to say, here comes Jesus. Jeg liker å si, her kommer Jesus. Here he comes. Her kommer han. And I'll bring them out. Og jeg skal bringe dem tilbake. From the people and and gather them from the countries. Og jeg skal samle dem fra landene. And bring them into their own land. Og bringe dem til sitt eget land. I will feed them. Jeg skal føre dem. On a good pasture. På et gode beitemarked. And they will lie down. Og de vil legge seg ned. It means I'll give them rest. Jeg gir dem hvile. They won't be stressed. De skal ikke være stresset. They won't be, feel like they're dominated over. De skal ikke føle at de blir nominert over. They'll be resting. De skal bli i hvile. Happy. Happy, glade. I will make them lie down. Jeg skal få dem til å legge seg ned. On good grazing ground. På gode grønne gresskanger. And I'll feed. Og jeg skal føde dem. In rich pastures. På rike steder. I will feed my sheep. Jeg skal fø mine får. And I will lead them to rest. Og jeg skal lede dem til hvile. I will seek the lost. Jeg vil søke de fortapte. And I'll bring back the scattered. Og jeg vil bringe tilbake de som er skremt. I'll bind up the broken. Og jeg skal binde det sønderknuste. Hey, and I'm going to strengthen and heal the sick. Jeg skal styrke og elbrede den syke. It's a prophecy of Christ. Det er profesi om Jesus. Here he comes. Her kommer han. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 63, 5. Isaiah 63, 5. It says, there was no one to help. Jeg så meg om, men det var ingen som hjalp. 
No one to uphold. Jag undrat mig men det var ingen so som stöttade mig. So my own arm so brought salvation to me. Arm, och min arm stöttade mig. And my anger upheld me. Jag tror uh, mitt sinne. It was an anger against the sheep. Det var inte ett sinne mot sävarna. It was God's anger. He was saying, "It's time for me to intervene." Ja, Gud säger, "Det är tid för mig till att intervenera." It's time for me to send my son. Det är tid för mig att sända min son. It's time for my son. Det är tid för min son. To execute judgment upon the enemy. För att ta bort förbannelsen. And deliver my sheep. Och utfri mina sävar. It's time. Det är tid. The Bible says when the fullness of time came. Bibeln säger att i tidens fylde kom. God sent forth his son. Så sände Gud sin son. Born of a woman. Född av en kvinna. Born under the law. Född under loven. That he would redeem those who were under the law. So they would receive the adoption of sonship. Så de kunde få um, so they would become children, sons and daughters of God. Så kunde bli sönner och döttrar av Gud. Until the fullness of time came. I tidens fylde så kom han. And God says, "Hey, the time's come." Och Gud sa, "Tiden är kommen." I'm kommet. sending my son. Jag sender min son. God says, "I'm sending my own arm." Gud sen, säger, "Jag sender min egen arm." You know, arm. Jesus is the arm of the Lord. Vet du att Jesus är armen till Gud? Jesus is the hand of God. Jesus är hand till Gud. God says, "I'm taking on human flesh." Gud säger, "Jag ska ta på mig kött." And I'm going to be the good shepherd. And I'm going to lay down my life for my sheep. And I'm going to take my life up again. For my Father's given me that authority. And I'm going to deliver my sheep. And I'm going to lead them to rest. No more will they be dominated over. And I'm going to lead them to rest. No more will they be dominated over. No more will they be dominated over. No more will they be dominated over. And mistreated by the shepherd. I said, Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. He says no more. Ikke lenger. Second Corinthians five nineteen. Andre Korintherne fem. It says God was in Christ. Gud var i Kristus. Reconciling the world to Himself. Och um, förlikte världen med sig själv. Not counting. Han talte ikke. Han tilrente dem ikke. Their sins against them. Synden mot dem. Han Do you know God is not synd. counting the sins of people against them? Gud tilrener ikke dem deres synd. Dere deres synd. Han tilrener dere ikke. If the world would just know that. Hvis bare verden ville vite det. They think God is counting their sin against them. De tror at Gud holder synden deres mot they dem. They think they need to get clean and then come to God. De må bli rene, og så skal de komme til Gud. No, but my Bible says he's not counting their sins against them. Why? Hvorfor? The cross. Korset. Don't forget the cross. Ikke glem korset. That's why he's not counting the sins against them. Det er derfor han ikke holder din synd mot deg. The payment has been made. Prisen er betalt. For the whole world. For hele verden. In John chapter 16. By Johannes 16. It says the world's sin. Sier at is a singular sin. Det er en et antal sender. It is an acts of sin. Det er ikke mange sendinger. There is one s- hmm? synden i antal. Synden i antal. There is one sin. Det er en synd that separates man som skiller mennesker from God. Fra Gud. Because the Bible says he belie- believes not in Christ. For Bibelen sier at ikke du tror på Kristus. On that day, på den dag They'll stand before Jesus. Men du står foran Jesus. And there will be one question. Så vil det bli et eneste spørsmål. Did you put faith in me? Hadde du tro på meg? Did you receive what I did for you? Tok du imot det jeg gjorde for deg? That's it. Det er det hele. The blood has done it. Blod har gjort det. And God is not counting. Og Gud tilregner deg ikke. Their sins against them. Syndene mot deg. They don't know the love of God. De känner inte Guds kärlek. But you have to tell them. Men du har att fortälla dem. You tell them Christ already paid for them for du, them to be forgiven. Du ska fortälla att Jesus allerede har betalt så de kan bli tillgivna. God accepted his payment for them. Gud har accepterat betalningen för synden. All they have to do is believe. Allt de tränger att göra är att tro. And receive Christ. Och ta emot Kristus. A free gift. En fri gave.
John 3:17. Johannes 3:17. For God did not send his son. For Gud sendte ikke sin sønn into the world. Til verden. To judge the world. For å dømme verden. God is not judging the world. Gud dømmer ikke verden. It's the day of grace. Det er en dag av nåde. Judgment will come. Dom skal komme. But it's not now. Men det er ikke nå. You'll find that in Luke chapter 4. Det finner du i Lukas 4. kapittel. God did not send his son into the world. Gud sendte ikke sin sønn til verden. To judge the world. For å dømme verden. But that the world might be saved. Men for at verden kunne bli frelst. Through him. Gjennom han. John chapter 5 verse 40. Johannes 5, 14. Truly, truly I say to you. Sannelig, sannelig sier jeg dere. This is Jesus talking. Det er Jesus som snakker. Truly, truly. Sannelig, sannelig. I know he's about to say something that's too good to be true. Ja, han kommer til å si noe som er for godt å være sant. So he's like, listen up. Og derfor sier han litt nå. It's going to be too good to be true. Det blir for godt å være sant. I say to you. Jeg sier til deg. He who hears my word. Den som hører mitt ord. And believes. Og tror. Him who sent me. Den som sendte meg. Has eternal life. Har evig liv. And does not come into judgment. Og kommer ikke til dom. It's impossible for a believer to be in judgment. Det er umulig for en troende å bli under dom. Because it says... Fordi det står... He does not come into judgment. Han kommer ikke til dom. But has passed out of death and into life. Men er kommet fra døden over til evig liv. Once you get into Jesus... Med en gang du kommer til Jesus... Judgment is over. Så er dommen over. Halleluja. Halleluja. Judgment is over. Dommen er over. It's not for you. Det er ikke for deg. It's not going to hit your house. Det skal ikke berøre ditt hus. It's impossible. Det er umulig. Because God took you out of the judgment. Fordi Gud tok deg ut av dommen. It's not going to hit you. Det kommer ikke til å nå deg. Christ redeemed you. Kristus forløste deg. He took you out. Han tok deg ut. And he put you into his son. Han putte deg inn i sin sønn. So God says judgment is over for you. Og Gud sa dommen er over for deg. You died. Du døde. You think you're living, but you're really dead. Du tror du lever, men du er egentlig død. I call it the walking dead, you know? Jeg kaller den levende død. We have that in the US. Vi har det i Amerika. And it's not scary, it literally means you died in Christ. Og det menes bare at du døde med Kristus. And now you're walking alive unto God. Og nå går du levende med Gud. But if you don't understand that God isn't counting sin... Hvis ikke du er klar over at Gud ikke teller sine. And you don't understand that judgment is over for you. Og ikke du forstår at dommen er over for deg. Because you're in Christ. Fordi du er i Kristus. Then you'll believe all kinds of weird stuff. Så tror du alt mulig rart. And your heart will be sad. Og hjertet ditt vil være trist. And you'll have a weight of condemnation and fear. Og du har en vekt av fordømmelse og frykt. And you'll be expecting something bad to happen. Og du venter at snart skal noe vondt skje. Or the devil says that happened because of this. Eller så sier de, men det hendte på grunn av det. But no, you can say. Men nå kan du si. John chapter 5 verse 40. Johannes 5.40. I passed out of judgment. Det er ikke lenger dom. And God put me into Jesus. Gud puttet meg inn i Jesus. The Bible says in Romans chapter 5, verse 9. Jesus sier i Romerne 5. That Jesus saves us. Jesus frelst oss. From the wrath of God. Fra Guds vrede. Wrath isn't coming to you and me. Vrede kommer ikke til deg og meg. Because the blood of Jesus. På grunn av Jesu blod. Saves us out of it. Det frelser oss ut av det. Amen. Amen. John chapter 6 verse 40. Johannes 6 40. It says this is the will of God. Dette er Guds vilje. You go what's the will of God? I want to do the will of God for my life. Ja hva er Guds vilje? Jeg vil gjøre Guds vilje for mitt liv. I want to do the works of God for my life. Jeg vil gjøre Guds gjerninger for mitt liv. You know they came to Jesus. De kom til Jesus. And they said Jesus. Og så sa de Jesus. What shall we do that we may work the works of God? Hva skal vi gjøre for å gjøre Guds gjerninger? And Jesus says this is the work of God. Og Jesus sa dette er Guds gjerninger. That you believe in him whom he has sent. At du tror på ham som han har sendt. The work of God. Arbeidet i Gud Is to believe Er å tro That Christ is Savior At Kristus er frelser And you're in him Og at du er fri 
Then is the work. Det är Guds ord. It's to believe. Det är att tro. Not to do. Ikke å gjøre. But to believe. Men å tro. And the will of God. Og Guds vilje. This is the will of God. Dette er Guds vilje. That everyone who beholds the Son. Alle som har Christus. Looks at Jesus. Ser på Jesus. And believes. Og tror på ham. In him. I ham. So you believe. Så du tror. Therefore in him. Derfor i ham. You shall have så skal du ha eternal life. Evig liv. It is really eternal. Det er virkelig evig. I know some people believe it's not eternal. You can like forfeit it, ja, like jeg, lose it. Jeg vet at noen sier at det er ikke evig, for du kan miste det. But Jesus, how many believe Jesus? Hvor mange tror på Jesus? I mean, he says it's eternal. Han sier at det er evig. And he goes a little further. Og han går litt lengre. And he makes a, an amazing promise to us in Christ. Og han laver et voldsomt løfte for oss i Kristus. He says you have eternal life. Han sier du har evig liv. This word have dette ordet har means to hold in your hand. Det menes å holde i hånden din. You possess din. it. Du bare går for you det. You have it. Du har det. I gave it to you. Jeg ga det til deg. Don't let anyone take it from you. Ikke la noen ta det fra deg. Don't let somebody tell you that you don't have it. Ikke la noen fortelle deg at ikke du har det. Because I said you have it. Ja, sagt at du har det. And then he says and I myself. Og da sier han jeg, meg selv. That's strong words. Det er sterk ord. Jesus says, me, myself. Jesus sier, meg, meg selv. I will raise you up. Jeg vil reise deg opp. On the last day. På det ytterste dag. Jesus says, I'm the one. Jesus sier, jeg er den. I'm coming for you. Jeg kommer for deg. Because I have given you. Fordi jeg har gitt deg. Eternal life. Evig liv. Judgment is over. Dommen er over. I'm coming for you. Jeg har kommet for deg. So you just look up. Så du kan bare se opp. He's coming for me. Han kommer for meg. I'm not perfect. Jeg er ikke perfekt. I have a lot of imperfections. Jeg har mange ufullkommenheter. But I'm saved. Men jeg er frelst. From wrath. Fra vreden. I'm saved. Jeg er frelst. From judgment. Fra fordømmelse. I don't deserve it. Jeg fortjener ikke. I know it. Jeg vet det. But he loves me. Men han elsker meg. He's not counting my sins against me. Han teller ikke min synder mot meg. Oh, he loves me. Han elsker meg. He's coming for me. Han kommer for meg. He's coming for me. Han kommer for meg. He loves me. Han elsker meg. He said, I give you eternal life. Han sier, jeg gir deg evig liv. I'm coming for you myself. Jeg kommer selv for deg. Come on. Come on. Hear him tonight. Hør ham i kveld. I am coming for you. Jeg kommer for dig. Myself. Selv. Jeg kommer selv for dig. Strong words. Sterke ord. He could have just said, "I'm coming." Han kunne bare sagt, "Jeg kommer." He didn't. Men han sa ikke det. He said, "I myself." Han sa, "Jeg." Selv. It's not going to be anyone else. Det er ikke noen andre. It's me. Det er meg. I'm coming for you. Jeg kommer for dig. So you can say, "I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm Så ready. Si, I'm ready." Så du kan si, "Klar. Jeg klar. Jeg klar." They say, "Are you ready?" Er du klar? You say, yeah, I'm ready. Er du redde? Ja, jeg er redde. Why are you so sure? Hvorfor er du så sikker på det? I know a few verses. Jeg vet noen vers. I believe it. Jeg tror det. 1 Thessalonians. 1 Thessaloniker. Chapter 1. Kapittel 1. Vers 10. Vers 10. I'm giving you bullets for your spiritual gun. Jeg gir deg... Hm? Hva sa du? Jeg tar imot kulene til mitt åndelige våpen. Ja, ja, ja. I've given you bullets for a spiritual gun. Åh ja, jeg gir deg kuler for et åndelig våpen. It says, this, it says that Jesus, at Jesus, delivers us, utfrir oss, from the wrath to come. Fra vreden som kommer. That means we're out of here, guys. Det menes at vi er borte her fra dere. Before it gets bad. Før det blir ille. Peace out, we're out. Vi er forsvunnet herfra. He himself is coming for us. Han selv kommer for oss. Wrath is not for me. Vreden er ikke for meg. Because he is the one. For han er den. He said I'm the one. Han sier jeg er den. That I deliver you. Som utfri deg. From the wrath that's coming. Fra vreden som kommer. Come on, Jesus. Don't let anybody make you afraid. Ikke la noen gjøre deg redd. Your salvation must be secure. Din frelse må være sikker. And it's as secure as the blood of Christ. Og det er like sikkert som Jesu blod. The Bible says his blood is on the mercy seat of heaven. Bibelen sier at blodet er på nådestolen i himmelen. You were seated with him in heavenly places. Du sitter med ham på himmelske steder. The work is finished. Verket er fullbrakt. If it wasn't finished for you, you could not be seated with him. Og hvis det ikke var fullbrakt for deg, så kunne du ikke bli satt med ham. But it's finished. Men det er fullbrakt. Rest. 
Vil. Enjoy your salvation. Fri dig i frelsen. Enjoy life with Jesus. Og fri dig i livet med Jesus. Don't look in this crazy thing called a mirror. Ikke se på det gale ting som heter speilet. Look in this thing called a mirror. Se på dette som kalles speilet. Because that thing. For det, det speilet. It only looks at flesh. Det ser bare på kjødet. But this talks to your spirit. Men dette speilet taler til din ånd. And you are a spirit. Og du vandrer i ånden. You have a soul. Du har en sjel. You live in a body. Du lever i en kropp. But what part of you was born again? Men etter at du blev født igen. It's your spirit, man. Så er det ånden. It looks just like menneske. It looks created just like Jesus. Hvem er akkurat som Jesus? Holy. Hellig. Righteous. Rettferdig. You're redeemed. Jeg er forløst. The Bible says you are complete in Christ. Bibelen sier at du er komplett i Jesus. That's how you look. Det er slik du er. So look at yourself. Så se på deg selv. Amen. Amen. You look beautiful. Du er nydelig. It says in uh, Song of Solomon, chapter 4, verse 7. I Salmos høysonger i kapittel 4. It says, my darling is so beautiful. Åh, oh, min elsker, du er så vakker. And there's no spot in her. Og det er ingen lyte på deg. Not on her. Ikke på deg. In her. Ikke in i henne. There's no spot. He doesn't see a spot. Det er ikke noe feil med deg. You see a spot. Ser du en feil? And you say, I have a spot, I have a wrinkle. Oh, jeg har så mange rinker. You're looking in the flesh. Du ser på kjøret ditt. Because the Bible says, in your spirit, I see no spot. For Bibelen sier at jeg ser ingen rinker. I see no wrinkle. Ingen feil og rinker. I see perfection. Jeg ser det perfekt. I see the blood of my son. Jeg ser blodet til din sønn. I see a new creation in Christ Jesus. Jeg ser en ny skapning i Kristus Jesus. The old is gone, God said. Åk er borte. Det gamle er borte. It was removed through the circumcision of Christ. Det ble flyttet på korset til Jesus. Will the real you stand up? Den virkelige deg kan stå opp. Amen. Amen. We believe a lot of crazy stuff. Vi tror masse crazy ting. And it affects our heart. Og det affiserer vårt hjerte. It affects our peace. Og vår fred. God did everything. Gud gjorde alt. He created you in Christ. Han skapte deg i Kristus. You are secure in Christ. Du er sikker i Kristus. The Bible says you are sealed to the day of redemption in Christ. Bibelen sier at du er forløst for dagen for forløsning i Kristus. Who's going to break God's seal? Hvem skal brekke Guds seil? Who can? Hvem kan det? Bryte Guds seil. Du er beseilet til forløsningens dag. Ja. You are sealed. Du er forseilet. Sealed. Forseilet. Beseilet. Takk, Jesus. Come on. I love it. Jeg elsker det. So Jesus says this. Så sier Jesus det. Matthew 11. Matteus 11. Matteus 11, ja. Vers 28. Yes. And he says, come to me. Og han sier, kom til meg. He was speaking to a crowd of people. Han snakket til en mengde mennesker. Who had, you know, dominating shepherds. Som hadde dominerende hyrder. They had heavy yokes. De hadde veldig tunge åk. They thought wrath is coming for them. Og de trodde at vreden kommer til å komme til dem. They're under God's judgment. De var under Guds dom. They were self-condemned. De var selvfordømt. They were afraid. De var redde. They had no security. De hadde ingen sikkerhet. And Jesus says, Og Jesus sier, Come to me. Kom til meg. All who are weary. Alle dere som strever. And heavy laden. Og har tunge byrder. They were heavy laden under the law. De hadde tunge byrder på grunn av loven. You must do this in order for God to do this. Du må gjøre dette for at Gud skal gjøre dette. You need to obey if you want God to bless you. Ja, du må adlyde hvis Gud skal. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Tungt, tungt, tungt. And Jesus says, come to me. Og Jesus sa, kom til meg. And he says, I will give you rest. Han sa, jeg vil gi dere hvile. This is really much stronger in the original. Det er mye sterkere enn det originale. It actually means, come to me and I will rest you. Ja, det menes egentlig, kom til meg, så skal jeg hvile deg. You know, it's like a baby. Det er akkurat som en baby. Jesus says, come. Kom. Kom. 
I just want to rest you. Jag ska bara vugga dig och vila dig. Let me just rock you. Låt mig bara vugga dig. Shh. Then what you do? I don't know. I'm not a mom. I'm an aunt. Jag är en tante. Shh. You're resting them. No, vi vill ha dig. It's okay. Don't be afraid. Ikke vær redd. Ikke vær redd. Don't be afraid. Ikke vær redd. This is what this means. Det er det det menes. Come to me. Kom til mig. I will rest you. Jeg skal hvile dig. I will remove the fear. Jeg skal ta bort frykten. I will remove all that heaviness. Jeg skal fjerne all den tyngden. Because I'm the shepherd. For jeg er hyrden. I'm the good shepherd. Jeg er den gode hyrden. I lay down my life that you can live. Jeg la jo ned mitt liv så du kan leve. I died that you would not have that crazy law. Jeg døde for at du aldrig skulle ha den crazy loven. I fulfilled the law for you. Jeg fullendte loven for dig. I satisfied all God's requirements for you. Jeg tilfredsstiller alle Guds krav for dig. There's no more requirements for you. Det er ikke flere krav. You're free. Du er fri. So come. So come. I want to rest you. Jeg skal hvile dig. I want to rest you. Jeg skal hvile dig. Take my yoke. Ta mitt yok. I say yes please Jesus. Ja vel Jesus. Vær så god. Take mine. Ta mitt yok. And learn from me. Og lær av meg. Jesus says, "I want you to learn something from me." Jesus sa, "Jeg vil at du skal lære noe av meg." It isn't just coming and just rest. Det er ikke bare å komme og så hvile. It's come and take. Du skal komme og ta. Come and take. Kom og ta. Don't forget to take. Ikke glem å ta. Take my yoke. Ta mitt yok. I want you to learn from me. Jeg vil at du skal lære av meg. Because I am gentle. Fordi jeg er øm. I'm not hard. Jeg er ikke hard. I'm not harsh. Jeg er ikke grusom. I'm not grusom. demanding. Jeg er ikke dominerende. I don't dominate over you. Jeg skal ikke dominere deg. I am gentle. Jeg er øm. I am humble in heart. Jeg er ydmyk og hjerte. I'm not prideful. Jeg er ikke grusom. I'm not grusom. arrogant. Jeg er ikke arrogant. I'm humble. Jeg er ydmyk. Come learn what I'm like. Kom og lær hvordan jeg er. Because you sat under a lot of wrong du, shepherds. Du sitter under mass feil hyrder. And you're heavy. Og du har det tungt. And he says, and you will find rest. Og han sier, du vil finne hvile. It will happen. Det vil skje. You'll get it. Du skal få det. If you come to me. Når du kommer til meg. Take from me. Ta fra meg. Learn from me. Lær av meg. You will find rest. Du skal finne hvile. For your soul. For din sjel. Your mind, sin, your emotions, følelser, are they a wreck? Are they unlocked? He says, I'll take care of it. Sa, jeg skal fikse det. This is not about the body. Det er ikke om kroppen. It's about the soul. Det er om sjelen. Because the enemy wants you to live with a sin conscience. For devilen vil at du skal være opptatt av sinnen. He wants you to be more conscious of the old than the new. Han vil at du skal være mer opptatt av det gamle enn av det nye. But Jesus gave us a new covenant. Men Jesus ga oss en ny pakt. The Bible says the old covenant he's put away. Bibelen sier den gamle pakten tok han vekk. Because it was fulfilled in Christ. Fordi den var fullført i Kristus. New wine. Ny vin. Jesus says, I can't put it into old wineskin. Jesus sa, jeg kan ikke ta ny vin i gamle skinnsekker. You lose all of it. Da mister du alt. So you don't take Jesus. Så du tar ikke Jesus. And think I just add him to my laws and rules and my work. Og jeg legger Jesus inn til min loven og mine egne gjerninger. You won't enjoy. Du vil ikke glede deg. Because you'll lose everything. For du mister alt. But Jesus says, come to me. Men Jesus sier, kom til meg. Leave that. Forlate. Leave the old. Forlate the gamle. And come on to me. Og kom til meg. Learn from me. Lær av meg. You'll be free of the fear. Så blir du fri fra frykten. You'll be free from the anxiety, the depression. Du blir fri fra depresjon. You'll have peace. Og angst, bare fred. You'll have joy. Du har glede. Your soul will be healed. Sjelen din vil bli helbredet. Your mind will be sound. Sinnet ditt vil bli rolig. But you have to come to me. Men du må komme til meg. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 55. Isaiah 55. Everyone who is thirsty. Alle dere som er tørste. Are you thirsty? Er du tørst? I think I'll take a drink. Jeg tar en drink, det gjør jeg også. 
moment. I'm thirsty. <laughs> mm. Would you like some? I'll share. <laughs> Was it Isaiah 55? Everyone who's thirsty. Alles med törste. Do you know he spoke and a lot of people weren't thirsty? Det er mange som törste. They were happy with the with the law. De var fornøyd med loven. They were happy, you know, trying to earn what God gives freely. Ja, de var fornøyd med å fortjene det som Herren har gitt fritt. We can do it. Vi kan klare det. We're building something. Vi har klart noe. We're building something. Vi bygger noe. I hear a lot about that, you know. Jeg hører mange si, jeg holder på å bygge noe. A lot of noe. people are building. Åh, oh, vi bygger. <laughs> Everyone who's thirsty. Alle som er tørste. Come to the water. Kom til vannene. Water is so nice. Vann er så nydelig. If you're thirsty, Hvis water's er tørst, good. Så er vann veldig godt. I mean, I don't want to drink it. I want to get in it and swim. <laughs> ja, jeg vil drikke det. Jeg vil også gå ut og svømme. Come to the waters. Kom til vannene. You who have no money. Dere som ingen penger har. Come. Come. Buy and eat. Kjøp og spis. Without money, ja, uten penger, without cost, uten betaling. the gospel is free. Evangeliet er fritt. Healing is free. Helbredelse er fritt. Prosperity is free. Fremgang er fritt. As long as you pay for it, you'll never enjoy it. Så lenge du betaler for det, vil du aldri fryde deg. Because the law makes you sick and broke. Fordi at loven gjør deg syk og sønderbrutt. That's in the scripture too. Det står i skriften også. If you're struggling financially, hvis du strever finansielt, and you've and you've done a lot but see nothing, og hvis du har gjort en masse men du ser ingenting av det, I think you're thirsty then. Så tror jeg du er tørst. So come to the water. Så kom til vannene. But come without your pocketbook. Men kom uten lommeboken din. And verse two. Vers 2. And he says, why do you spend money on what is not bread? Han sier, hvorfor veier dere ut penger for det som ikke er brød? And wages on what does not satisfy. Og deres fortjeneste for det som ikke kan mette. Listen carefully to me. Hør forsiktig på meg. And eat what is good. Så skal dere ete det som er godt. And delight yourself in abundance. Og deres sjel skal glede seg ved de fete rette. Incline your ear and come to me. Vend øret hit og kom til meg. Listen. Hør. Not do. Ikke gjør. Not obey. Ikke adlyd. Listen. Hør. Lytt. I love it. Jeg elsker det. It's not action. Det er ikke en aksjon for deg. It's looking. Det er å se. <laughs> Seeing him. Se ham. Look to Jesus. Se opp til Jesus. Not do for Jesus. Ikke gjøre for Jesus. Listen. Lytt. That you may live. Så du kan leve. This word live is powerful. Leve er kraftig. I'll give you some words of what it means. Jeg skal gi deg noen med hva det mener. He says just listen and you get to live. Han sier bare lytt så skal du leve. I like it. Jeg liker det. Because this word live means to recover. For det som leve betyr å komme seg. Recover to health. Å komme seg inn til bredelse. It means to be healed. Det mener å bli bredelse. To be whole. Å bli hel. To repair. To bli reparert. It means to save from death. Det betyr å frelse fra døden. From sickness. Fra sykdom. From discouragement. Fra skuffelse. To call back to life. Å kolle tilbake til livet. To remain alive. For å... To remain alive. Å forbli i livet. How do we remain alive? Hvordan forblir vi i livet? We listen. Vi lytter. We don't do. Vi gjør ikke. Vi gjør ikke noe. We just listen. Vi bare lytter. What are you saying, Holy Spirit? Hva sier du, Helligånd? What are you revealing about Jesus? Hva åpenbarer du om Jesus? Jesus, what are you saying to me today? Jesus, hva du sier til meg i kveld? And he says, listen. Han sier, lytt. And you'll recover from that sickness. Og du skal bli bra av denne sykdommen. So good. Det er så godt. And he says, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you. Og jeg vil opprette en evig pakket med dere. According to the faithful mercies shown to David. Og gi dere Davids rike nåde den visse. Mercy, according to mercy. Nåde, i forhold til nåde. Not according to what we deserve. Ikke i forhold til det vi fortjener. That was under the law. Det var jo under loven. If you obey, then God will do. Hvis du adlyder, så skal Gud gjøre. But if you don't, God won't, and you'll be cursed. Men hvis ikke du gjør det, så vil ikke Gud, da blir du forbannet. But God says, I'm making something new. Men Gud sier, gjør noe nytt. And it's an everlasting covenant. Og det er en evig pakt. 
And I, it is a covenant of mercy. Och jag är en pakt av nåde. It's a covenant of his grace. Det är en pakt av hans nåde. Do you know it? Vet du det? Are you enjoying it? Fryder du dig över det? The Lord says, "Come and drink." Herren säger, "Kom och drick." But leave your pocketbook in back. Bara glöm den lommboken där. Because you cannot buy and earn your miracle. För du kan inte köpa och förtjäna ditt mirakel. I know I I travel a lot. Jag har reist mycket. And I hear all kinds of messages. Jag hör all slags budskap. And this is one message that I kind of rise up in. Och där ett rise up. Um, yeah, I can feel the whoosh. Som säger jag får en whoosh. You can't buy a miracle. Du kan inte köpa ett mirakel. You can't earn a miracle. Du kan inte få till ett mirakel. And here's why I'm so strong in it. Och varför här är varför jag är så starkare? Because starkere. if we could, för hvis vi kunde, he didn't need to die. Så trengte inte han att dö. He didn't need to be scourged. Så trengte han inte att bli så. He was beat. Och blev slått. He was mocked. Han var mobbet. After they striped ever after they whipped him efter de hade slått han and his back and everything is open och ryggen hans var helt öppen the bible says he looked down and could count all of his bones så står det att bibeln säger att han all hans ben var synliga he didn't even look human han såg inte mänsklig ut en gång and then after they did all of that och efter att de gjort allt det they brought him out to a Roman soldier. Så tog de han fram till en romersk soldat. Which had been hundreds of soldiers. Det var hundratals av soldater. And they began to beat him. Och så började de att slå ham. In his face. I hans ansikt. And they began to take a reed. Och så började de att ta ett rep. And they began to mock him. Och så började de att Oh hell king ja, Jesus. Ja, så började de att mobba han. And then they Hjelte took the reed Jesus. away from him. Och så tog de And then they began to beat him with it. Och så började de att slå ham. Do you understand how much he loves you? Förstår du hur mycket han älskar dig? You can't earn it. Du kan inte förtjäna det. You can't pay for it. Du kan inte betala för det. Throw your money away. Kast pengarna dina bort. Come. Kom. No money. Ingen pengar. And you'll live. Och du ska leva. I'll heal you. Jag helbreder dig. I'll restore you. Jag ger I'll give your life back to you. Jag ger dig tillbaka. But you have to come. Men du måste komma. With nothing. Med ingenting. Because I gave you everything. För jag gav dig allt. What a Jesus. Åh, oh, vilken Jesus. What a king. Vilken konge. Today he's wearing that crown. Idag så bär han den kronan. He is the king of kings and lord of lords. Han är kungens konge och herrens herre. The Bible says he rose from the dead. Och Bibeln säger han reste upp från de döda. After, efter, every demon spirit, efter att alla demoniska ander was subject to him. Var lydig mot han, underlagt han. They're all subject to him. De är alla underlagt han. He rendered them all powerless. Han förlot dem utan kraft. Through the cross. På grund av korset. That's why we come with nothing. Det är därför vi kan komma med ingenting. Have you been trying to pay for it? Har du provat att betala för det? I'm going to give and I'm going to do and I'm going to do this and then God will give. Jag ska göra det och det så ska Gud ge mig. It's time to come. It's time to come to the water. Det är på tid att komma till ordet. And receive. Och ta emot. For free. Fritt. Gratis. Amen. Amen. It's good. Det är gott. Mm. A little more. Hebrews chapter 9. Lite mer. Hebrea 9. Hebrea 9. We're going to land soon, shortly. Ska vi landa snart? Shortly. Jag finner inte bra när man dök nu. But just a little more. Hebrena ni? You're 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 leaving totally different tonight. Du ska gå härfra helt annorlunda sig kväll. You'll never be lied to again. Du ska aldrig bli löjd till igen. 
You can't pay for it. Du kan ikke betale for det. There's, you know, God said to me Gud one time. Gud sa til meg en gang. He knows how to slack, to jerk any type of religious thing out of you. You know. Han vet hvordan han skal ta bort alle de religiøse tingene der. But I was praying about jeg, some finances. Jeg ba om noen finanser. And I felt I was really struggling. Og jeg følte at jeg strevde like virkelig. Like to believe. For å tro. And God said to me. Og Gud sa til meg. He said, Amy. Amy. Why do you think you bring me anything good? Hvorfor tror du at du kan gi meg noe godt? What? What? Amy, you bring me nothing good. Amy, du bringer meg ingenting godt. Bring me my son. Jeg bringer min sønn. Bring meg min sønn. Bring me my son. Bring meg min sønn. You know the Bible says we come to the Father through the blood of Jesus. Vi vil si vi kommer til far gjennom blodet til Jesus. I don't come in me. Jeg kommer ikke med meg selv. I don't selv. come based on anything good in me. Jeg kommer ikke basert på noe godt i meg. I come by the blood of Jesus. Jeg kommer gjennom blodet til Jesus. By the name of Jesus. I Jesu navn. And God gives me everything. Og Gud gir meg alt. For free. Fritt. And Hebrews chapter 9. Og Hebreerne 9. Verse 12. Verse 12. And not through the blood of goats or calves, but through his own blood. Ikke med blod av bukker og kalver, men med sitt eget blod. Jesus entered the holy place. Gikk han inn i helgedommen en gang for alle. Once for all. En gang for alle. Having obtained. Og fant en evig. Eternal redemption. En evig forløsning. Ja. For if the blood of goats and bulls for så sant blod av bukker og okser and ashes of heifer og asken av en kvige sprinkling those who have been defiled helliger til kjøres rene sanctifying for the cleansing of the flesh når det blir stenket på dem som er urene that was under the old covenant det er det gamle pakten they would take ashes from an animal de tok aske fra et dyr and they would put it on their flesh og de puttet det på kjødet på kroppen It was a picture of Jesus. Og det var et bilde på Jesus. It's all pictures of Jesus. Alt peker på Jesus. And it sanctified the cleansing of their flesh. Og det helliget kjødets kjøde. It's pictures of Jesus. Det er et bilde på Jesus. Verse 14. 14. How much more would make it mere? Were the blood of Christ skal da Kristi blod through the eternal Spirit hans med kraft av en evig ond offer himself bare seg selv without blemish frem for Gud som et lydesløs offer cleanse your conscience rense vår samvittighet cleanse your conscience rense vår samvittighet from dead works fra døde gjerninger to serve the living God så vi kan tjene den levende Gud what this means it says the blood of Jesus det menes at Jesu blod should be on your conscience så skal bli opp på din samvittighet your conscience is where you feel would feel guilty din samvittighet er der du føler skyld or you feel unworthy der du føles unverdig I don't deserve jeg trenger ikke jeg fortjener ikke it's this conscience det er denne samvittigheten the Bible says the blood is there Bibelen sier blod er der and it has cleansed you og det har it's done a perfect Job. Det er en perfekt jobb. Så du trenger ikke å komme til Gud med en gjerning. Han vil ikke ha den. Han vil ikke ha den. Du må komme ved Jesus. Når du kommer ved arbeidet ditt, og din lydighet, da kaller han det en død gjerning. Vers 15. For denne grunnen, Jesus is the mediator er Jesus of a new covenant. For a new pact. We have a high priest. Vi har en, That's en why. Prest. Det er It's because we have a high priest. Det er fordi vi har en prest. What is he doing for us Hva today? Han for oss i dag? Look over here in verse 24. Se her i 24 vers. For Christ did not enter a holy place made with hands. For Christus gikk ikke inn i helgedommen som er gjort med hender. A mere copy of the true one. Med en kopi av det ja, for Kristus gikk ikke inn i helgedommen som var gjort med hender. But into heaven itself. Og bare et bilde av den sanne helgedommen. Han gikk inn i himmelen selv. Nå for å åpenbares for Guds åsyn. For vår skyld. Now to appear in the presence of God. For å åpenbare Guds nærvær. For oss. For oss. He's not there for himself. Han er ikke der for seg selv. He's there for you. Han er der for deg. He's there for you. Han er der for deg. And he's there presenting his sacrifice. Og han representerer sitt offer. To the father. Til faren. He's presenting you. Han representerer deg. Not himself. Ikke seg selv. 
He says this. Han säger detta. He says dad. Han säger far. Look what I did. <laughs> Se på henne. Isn't she beautiful? She's righteous. She's holy. There's no spot in her. My blood has washed her clean. Dad, isn't she beautiful? I did a, I did a perfect job. Come on. Come on. This is what he's doing for you. That's why the blood is on your conscience. You can't be guilty. You can never ever be guilty. You can aldrig, aldrig be guilty. If you can remove Jesus, Hvis du flytter Jesus, you can become guilty. Så blir du skyldig. If you can remove Jesus, Hvis du kan fjerne Jesus, you can come under judgment. Ja, da kommer du under dommen. It can happen. Men det kan ikke skje. Because the Bible says For he's there sin. forever as our high priest. Han er for evig din ypperste prest. Forever. For evig. And the Bible says he's the guarantee. Og Bibelen sier han er en garanti. Of this covenant between us and for, Abba. For denne pakten mellom oss og Abba. I'm not the guarantee. Han er, jeg er ikke en garanti. It'd be over. <laughs> da ville det vært over. He is. Han er. Your guaranty. Din garanti. That God will be faithful to you. Gud vil være trofast mot deg. That God deg. will restore you. Gud vil gjenopprette deg. That God deg. will heal you. Gud vil helbrede deg. The blood of Jesus. Jesu blod. Is presenting you. Det representerer deg. A little more. Two more verses and I'll close. Litt mer to vers så skal jeg slutte. I just want you to see this. Jeg vil at du skal se det. Verse 25. Verse 25. Nor was it that Christ would offer offer himself often. Heller ikke gikk han inn der for å ofre seg as a, high, as a high priest enters a place year by year with blood that is not his own. Slik ypperste presten hvert år går inn i helledommen med fremmed blod. That's under the old covenant. Det er det gamle. They would enter once a year. En gang i året. And he says Christ isn't doing that. Og Jesus gjør ikke det. He's done it once. Han har gjort det en gang. It's enough. Det er nok. <laughs> Verse 26. Otherwise he would need to suffer often. I så fall måtte han jo lide mange ganger. Since the foundation of the world. Fra verden ble grunnlagt. But now once. Men nå har han blitt åpenbart en gang. At the consumption of the age. Ved tidens ende. Christ has been manifested. Så har Kristus blitt åpenbart. He became flesh. Han ble kjød. To put away sin. For å borta våre synder ved sitt offer. By the sacrifice of himself. Ved sitt eget offer. He did a perfect job. Han gjorde en perfekt. He put away our sin. Han tok bort He's risen. Han er and God's so happy Gud er så glad. that he puts you, he at raised han, you with Christ. At han opp med How are you and I raised with Christ? Er du og jeg med it's because he put our sin away. Fordi han tok Sin's sin not a problem today. Sin er ikke problem Christ put it away. Jesus tok and det now bort. he's our high priest er han presenting vår. us to God. Det oss for Gud. Read a little bit more, you're going to get happy. <laughs> Verse, 20, verse 28. So Christ also, so skal også Christus, having offered once en gang, to bear the sins of many, for borta mange synder, will appear gang bli a second time for salvation. En gang ikke for we call sin. that the rapture. We call it the seizing away. Bortrykkelsen. Bortrykkelsen He's coming bort. Han kommer. to appear for the second time for, komme for, andre gang. for salvation for without rest reference to sin. Utan referanse till synd. He's not dealing with it anymore. Han de, han jobbar inte med det mer. Han blir säker. Du kan vara säker. You really are secure. Du är verkligen säker in Christ. I Kristus. Your good shepherd. Han är en god hyrde. He did a perfect job. Han gjorde en perfekt jobb. Ezekiel prophesied. Ezekiel profeterat profeterade. I'm going to send my Actually, in Isaiah, he says, God says, I'm going to send my own arm. Ja, i Isaiah så står det faktisk, jeg sender min egen arm. And Ezekiel says, the, the shepherd's coming. Og Ezekiel sier at hyrden kommer. And it told us everything that he's going to do. Han fortalte oss alt det han skulle gjøre. And then Christ came. Og når Kristus kom. And he demonstrated to us the goodness and the grace of God. Han for oss godheten og nåden. And Christ came and fulfilled the old covenant. Og Kristus kom for å oppfylle det gamle pakken. And he gave us a new covenant. Han ga oss en ny pakken. And he went to the cross. Og han gikk til korset. And he died. Og døde. And he died. Bore our sin, carried our 
of diseases and pains. Var var det sykdom och plager? On the third day he rose from the dead. Och tredje dagen så han upp från de döda. Amen. Amen. He is seated in heaven. Han sitter i himlen. He put away our sin. Han tog bort vår synd. By the sacrifice of himself. Det är sitt eget offer. And he says, do I have a church that will believe me? Och han säger, har jag en menighet som tror på mig? When I come back, will I find faith? Vill jag finna tro? Will I find a church that believes what I did? Vill jag finna en menighet som tror det jag gjorde? Or are they still believing an old covenant? Eller tror de ända på den gamla pakt? Or have they come into the new? Eller har de kommit in i det nya? It's freedom. Det är frihet. So he he gives an invitation. Så vi ger en invitation. Come to the water. Kom till vattnet. Thirsty? Thirst. Come drink. Kom och drick. Amen. Amen. Stand with me. Stå upp med mig. When Jesus first preached this to me, when Jesus first first hinted at it for me, I don't know about you, but I was thirsty. I vet inte hur det är med dig, men jag var väldigt törst. I lived ten years under this under the law. Jag levde ti år under lagen. I thought God was judging me for everything. Och Gud dömde mig för allt. I confessed so much, I became weird in my thinking. Jag bekände så mycket att jag blev sprö i tankarna. I didn't understand he did it forever. Jag förstod inte att han har gjort det för alltid. I didn't understand the blood was eternal. Jag visste inte att blod var evigt. We think it's temporary. Vi tror att det är midlertidig. It's eternal. Men det är ju evigt. And I can be free in my mind. I can be free from judgment and condemnation and guilt and free from trying to obey enough to get it. Och fri för att adla det nog för att få det. Because you never get it that way. För du klarar det aldrig på den måten. You keep grasping. Du bara grabbar efter det. But you never get it. Men du får det aldrig. But when he spoke this to me many years ago, I said, Jesus, I'm thirsty. So say Jesus, yeah, I thirst. I come to you. I come to you. And I come with nothing. I come with nothing. And I receive this truth. Oh, I move to this truth. And he healed my body. Oh, he healed my mind. He healed my soul. In shell. And I became whole. Oh, I became whole. But it didn't happen by doing something. Men det skedde inte vid att jag gjorde något. It came by just coming to him to receive. Det skedde bara vid att jag kom till ham och tog emot. And I said, Jesus, I'm so thirsty. Och säger Jesus, jag är så törst. For truth. For sanning. Are you? Är du? I'll just pray for us. Låt oss be. And when you come to him, när du kommer till ham today, idag, in in that promise of coming, i det löfte av det att komma, he will quench that thirst that you have. Så vill han slukka den törsten som du har. And he says, and I'll heal your body. Och så säger han, jag vill också elbrära din kropp. I'll repair whatever needs to be repaired. Ska reparera allt som trängs att repareras. And I'll cause it to live. Och jag ska kalla det till att leva. It's free. Det är fritt, det är gratis. Amen. Amen. I will just pray for us. Jag ska bara be för oss. And you can pray your own prayer. Och du kan be din egen bön. Because this is personal. För det detta är väldigt personligt. It's called freedom. Det kallas frihet. So Father, we thank you. So Father, we thank you. Thank you for your word. We thank you for your word. Thank you for the move of your spirit. Thank for the move of your spirit. Thank you for your word, Jesus. Thank for the word, Jesus. Thank you that. God, that you gave your own arm. Tack Gud att du gav din egen arm. To save us. För att frälsa oss. We can never save ourselves. Vi kan inte frälsa oss själ. Thank you for sending Jesus. Tack för att du sände Jesus. And Father, we just admit. Och far, vi bara erkänner. We're thirsty. Att vi är törsta. We've we've tried everything. Vi har prövat allt. We've bought into the lie of the old covenant. Och vi har brakt i livet det gamla testamentet, det gamla pakten. But you've given us a new covenant. And you have given us a new pact. You've given us, Father, the good shepherd. You have given us, Father, the good shepherd. And Jesus, you promised us. And Jesus, you loved us. That you would heal us. That you would restore us. That you would restore us. That you would give us rest. That you would give us rest. That you would give us rest. That you would heal our emotions. That you would heal our emotions. That you would heal our minds. That you would set us free. That you would set us free. 
We thank you for the covenant of peace. Vi takker deg for pakten av fred. And your faithful mercies. Og din trofaste barmhjertighet. So Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Så far, vi ber i Jesu navn. Father, I pray for every person. Far, jeg ber for hver person. As they come to you now. Jeg sier, kom til meg nå. I thank you, Father, deg, Far, for quenching every thirst. For at du slukker en hver tørst. Jesus, you said if we come to you, Jesus, du sier at hvis vi kommer til deg, we would never thirst again. Så skal vi aldri tørste mer. So we say, Jesus, vi sier, Jesus, I'm thirsty. Jeg tørster. So I come to you. Så jeg kommer til deg. And I receive tar imot, that your blood ditt blod has done it all. Har gjort det alt There's sammen. nothing left for me to do. Er noe mer igjen å gjøre for meg. But I've come to receive for free Men jeg kommer for å ta imot helt gratis life. Livet. The abundant life, Jesus. Det overnaturlige livet. Healing, Jesus. Helbredelse, Jesus. Freedom. Frihet. The good life, Jesus. Det gode livet, Jesus. I've worked so hard to try to get it. Og jeg arbeider så hardt for å prøve å få det. But I say, that's not the way. Men jeg skjønner at det er ikke veien. You are the way. Du er veien. So I come to you. Så jeg kommer til deg. And receive from you. Og tar imot fra deg. This wonderful gift. Thank you, Jesus. Takk, Jesus. I'll never, never thirst again. Jeg skal aldri tørste mer. I'll never, never thirst again. Jeg skal aldri, aldri tørste mer. Thank you, Lord. Takk, Herre. You'll never thirst to be healed. Du må aldri, aldri tørste for å bli helbredet. Because you'll just come to him. For du kan bare komme til ham. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you love him, Lord? Don't you love him? Jeg elsker du ikke? Er det ikke nydelig? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you need healing, just put your hand where, where you need healing. Hvis du trenger helbredelse, så bare legg hånden din der du trenger å bli helbredet. Just put your hand where you need healing. Bare legg hånden din der. And Father, we thank you. Og far, vi takker deg. We thank you for the healing presence of the Holy Spirit. Vi takker deg for den helbredende nærværet i den hellige ånd. And in the name of Jesus, og Jesu navn, I rebuke every sickness, så forbanner jeg hver eneste sykdom, every disease, hver plage, every pain, hver plage, hver smerte, I command it to leave your body in the name of Jesus. Jeg kommer til å forlate din kropp i Jesu navn. And I speak to your body. Og jeg snakker til din kropp. And I say, be healed. Og jeg sier, vær helbredet. Be healed in Jesus' name. Name. Yes, now. Amen. Amen. Tack Jesus. Tack Jesus. I receive it. Jag tar emot det. The free gift of healing. Den gratiske, gratise helbredelsen. Gave. Amen. Amen. Are you here and without Christ? Er du her som er uten Kristus? Does somebody bring you and you're not sure why you're here? Er det noen som ikke vet hvorfor du er her? The Bible says you must be born again. Men Bibelen sier du må bli født på ny. There's no other name under heaven. Det er ikke noe annet navn under himmelen. For which you must be saved. Som du må bli frelst ved. And the Bible says if you believe on Jesus. Og Bibelen sier hvis du tror på Jesus then you will have eternal life. Så skal du ha evig liv. If that is you, hvis dette er deg, pray, pray with me. Be med meg. Give your life to Christ. Gi ditt liv til Jesus. Surrender to Jesus. Å vi det til Jesus. Admit your thirsty. Bare innrømme at du er tørst. And you need a savior. At du trenger en frelse. If that is you, hvis det er deg, just, just pray. Bare be. Say, Heavenly Father, si himmelske far, I believe Jesus. Jeg tror på Jesus. He's the Son of God. Han er Guds sønn who died on a cross som døde på korset for my sin for my for min sin thank you jesus tack jesus that your blood at ditt blod washes me clean vasker meg ren from every sin for hver sin and by your blood og ved ditt blod 
I am made right with God. Så er jeg gjort rettferdig for Gud. Reconciled to God. Jeg er gjenforenet med Gud. Forever. For alltid. By your blood. Ved ditt blod. I have. Så har jeg. Eternal life. Evig liv. I receive that gift, Jesus. Jeg tar imot den gaven, Jesus. And I thank you. Og jeg takker deg. That I'll never thirst again. At jeg skal aldri tørste mer. Amen. 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 He loves you. Han elsker deg. Jesus says this. Jesus sier det. He says you'll know the truth. Han sier at du skal kjenne sannheten. And the truth. Og sannheten. Will set you free. Vil sette deg fri. Amen. Amen. Bless you. Gud vil sine deg. Bare la det være åpent her for deg som eventuelt ønsker betjening. Jeg kan også si det at vi har med salvedukker i kveld. For deg som ønsker å ha en av dem, så er de her. De koster ingenting, men de er påført både Guds ord og løfter og navnet Jesus. Og det kan bringe deg legedom og helse og frelse om du måtte være i behov av det. Så vi får litt sang nå, og ønsker du som sagt forbønn og det, så gjør det. Men nå har ordet blitt forkynt så sterkt, vet du. Så hvis du tar Gud på ordet nå, så får du alt du trenger. Du får absolutt alt du trenger. Du får all den helbredelse du måtte være i behov av. Og du får det helt gratis. Du må bare komme med tomme hender og ta det i Jesu navn. Vi får litt sang mens... Mens du gjør det. Amy har bare sagt noe fint, som også det er salvelse over. Og det er at hun har skrevet en bok, og hun vil så gjerne selge den til deg, eller gi den til deg. Altså, den koster 199 kroner, og det heter den bortkommende datteren. Det er altså Amys egen gripende historie om hvordan Gud, hvordan Jesus fridde henne ut fra loven, fra mørke og forbannelse, ensomhet og fortvilelse, og hvordan hun kom til den gode hyrde. Hun har skrevet en bok om dette, og det er så fascinerende. Og jeg vil bare si til deg, kjøp den til julegave, til dine venner, til dine barn, til de du ber for. For det er virkelig Guds herlighet som åpenbares i denne vakre fortellingen. Og så er det slik at Amy har lavet sin egen ministry, det vil si det er noen foundere for hennes ministry, det er slik at hun har en egen organisasjon, som han sa, broderen her, i Norge. Og det har akkurat skjedd, og det er veldig stort. Det er mennesker som har fått løst henne inn i tjenesten, som skal reise over hele Norge, og bli der så lenge som helst, at Gud sender vekkelse. Og det er meget stort. Og du kan bli medlem, og Amy sier at du kan gi din støtte til Amy Lee Kemp, sin tjeneste. Og hvis du vil hjelpe at flere skal bli forvandlet ved dette evangeliet, så kan du få et medlemskap som koster 250 kroner i året. Det er nesten ingenting. Så bak der så vil min mann Tom Lauren stå og selge disse bøkene og så prate med deg om dette medlemskapet. Så, sang. Hva er det venn som gjør at hjertet brenner? 